Good morning, folks. Today we do our major space weather and health effects update, how to combat things like it and 5G, plus a look around the world. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours exceedingly quiet. The coronal hole is beginning to reach more and more southward there from the north. Meanwhile, the previous coronal hole drove intensified plasma streams at Earth, which we reported yesterday. As of this morning, however, the telemetry is dropping back out. Earth returns to a calmer ambient stream and geomagnetic conditions return to quiet. A tremendous storm tore through Dallas yesterday. You might have seen the crane fall in that video. It killed one and injured others as the hail and wind pushed the machine into the complex. Rough shots there. Folks, when Sinabung blows, she really blows. This volcano has some of the most spectacular smoke columns, ash now raining down on the locals. Folks, you see a cyclone storm sitting offshore of India to the west. It's not the monsoon, but India would take it if it meant their zero-day regions could be pushed back. Alas, all week the system will dance with the coastline, refuse to help out the drought zones in any major way, and wind up whacking Karachi, Pakistan head-on as we enter the weekend. We're going to need to monitor that one all week. Let's get right into the major space weather and human health update of the year. Over the last eight months, a number of phenomenal studies have furthered the understanding of how space weather affects numerous cardiac parameters and events. Studies showed ECG patterns matching space weather fluctuations at the time. We can also now say the enormous pile of papers claiming to find heart rate modulation by space weather can add another one on top, in this case, for their effects from the Earth's magnetic field. An excellent study on the importance of antioxidants in protecting against cosmic ray-induced stress on cells, perhaps intuitive for most, but alas, nice to see it scientifically proven. While ECG studies need only days to collect thousands of data points, a much longer-term study here confirms monthly myocardial infarction incidents with cosmic ray activity. In this case, it would be the direct electrical disruption of ion pathways and key proteins that trigger heart muscle action. Back to that in a moment. A recent textbook that was released, Electromagnetic Geophysical Fields, numerous chapters diving into the topic of variation in Earth's magnetic field due to space weather as they correlate with cardiac events. Now back to those key proteins for heart muscle action. It is found that the troponin proteins responsible for heart contraction and expansion showed blood level patterns modulated by space weather, specifically geomagnetic storms and cosmic rays. Both that paper and a key 50-year literature review were authored by Dr. Stupel, the father of Western understanding of solar effects on health. Much broader and less technical paper there if you're having to be selective with your clicks. The heart is an electrical machine. In that regard, it outproduces even the brain's electrical work and power. And this paper from last year was a great setup. Something electrical is happening in the environment utterly correlated with space weather events, and it was triggering the cascade of changes that led to mortality from the cardiac events. Well, we can now look at the specific activation of key heart features and find evidence of their direct modulation by magnetic fields. They specifically highlight here the sinus node for magnetic field fluctuation vulnerability, and that is the heart's natural pacemaker. It is critical that you remember that awareness should lead to power, not fear. Remember that the placebo effect is actually you, defeating the laws of physics and chemistry operating within your system, creating an outcome that is not supported by any laws of nature other than your human brainwaves of thought. If you fear space weather, the effects may be different than if you realize that your body is an electromagnetic machine in the first place, and it's more powerful. It's a little lesson for those afraid of 5G as well, which is wave energy, not the vastly more powerful particle energy of, say, cosmic rays. By the way, dozens more papers and how our star affects the weather, earthquakes, and technology can be found in Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, student favorite textbook, available at otf.cells.com, along with the Kira and Lulu books for the kids on the sun and the planets. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.